what up how's it going so today we got a patreon request shout out to all the patrons on patreon children of men i feel like i got a good idea of what this is about right because this used to show on i believe ifc on one of those channels and they would i would read the description so i know it has something to do with like us not being able to reproduce anymore but that's about as far as it goes um i just never watched this one when it was suggested to me um i was like yo i've been meaning to watch this this is another one where i've i feel like i've seen it all over the place just never got around to it and that's what i'm looking for when it comes to these films because i've seen a lot of the ones that you'll see people reacting to on youtube i've seen those multiple times and i'm familiar with them but every once in a while you have one like this or memento or being john malkovich where i haven't watched it yet and i like that actually is uh pretty exciting because you know i've seen uh, a lot of these things um so i'm ready to go ahead and get this started i saw the cast of this uh, beast cast right uh but yeah let's go ahead and get this started children of men the by the way if the hue of the film is this you know it's post-apocalyptic <laughs> That just gray, dark. They stabbed the youngest man in the world. I'd be happy though if I was the second youngest man. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> now it's my time to shine. Whoa. Damn. Who blew it up and why they blow it up? The world is going to shit. Losing you, baby Diego, on the same day would be too hard to bear. Well, that was even worse, everybody crying. I mean, baby Diego, come on. That guy was a wanker. After escaping the worst atrocities and finally making it to England, our government hunts them down like cockroaches. He uh, decided to renounce. Renounces? Are those the ones that kneeled down for a month for salvation? No, uh, they're the repenters. The renouncers flagellate themselves for the forgiveness of humanity. Oh, right. Went from 25% infertility to 90. They had a baby. In no cases of anyone surviving who has taken the preparation. Daddy government hands out suicide kits and antidepressants in the rations, but ganja is still illegal. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that would happen. You know, even if these people existed with these facilities in secret locations, fuck me, that's strong. Even if they discovered the cure for infertility, it doesn't matter. Too late. World went to shit. It was too late before the infertility thing happened, for fuck's sake. Some of them say it's genetic experiments, gamma rays, pollution, same old, same old. Why do you think we can't make babies anymore? And he looks up at them, and he's chewing on this great big wing. And he says, I haven't the faintest idea, he said. But this stalk is quite tasty, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all seen uh, or read Why the Last Man? I remember they were talking about doing a live action with Shia LaBeouf, but... Yo, why the last man kind of reminds me of this, but in why the last man, all the males were gone. It was just this one dude. I literally only have read it once because I want to forget it so I can re-experience it again. I mean, in broad day, they got him. Oh shit, they about to put him in. After Liverpool, we stopped bombing. We started speaking to the people. Imagine joining. Imagine joining us, Theo. Bernard, you're going to British people too. Why am I here, Jules? I need your help. I need transit papers. Not for me. A girl. She's a Fuji. You could ask your cousin. The government finances his Ark of the Arts. He has access to papers. Yeah, but he'd never do it. He would if you asked. Ark of the Arts. I can't. I get what that is. It's That's too dangerous. pretty crazy. You know that ringing in your ears? That e. That's the sound of the ear cells dying, like their swan song. Once it's gone, you'll never hear that frequency again. I'm really sorry, Nigel. I, I just don't know who else to ask. Let's see what I can do. It's hard for me to look at you. He had your eyes. Damn, why did their kid die? Hey, you don't have a monopoly on suffering, you know. You always carry this memory like a ball. What do you fucking chain. know I about my memories? Carry... You don't oh, know what move. I feel or what... Well, this is obviously the elite year now. This is Miriam. Hi. This is the girl. Key. Notice. This is Theo. So I guess that is the girl. 
Fuck you staring at. <laughs> That's uh weird, but also kind of cool. <laughs> I just never see somebody do that. Oh shit! Oh no! 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 It's a trap. Back up. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Whoa! Oh no! Oh! Oh, what the fuck? I wasn't expecting her to die like that or early. Fuck out of here, dummy. Wait, is she gonna die? Nah, she she out of here. I remember where I saw some of, th I think this scene before. There's a channel on YouTube called Cinefix, I believe, where they talk about filming, like the actual technique in filming. That scene was crazy. Like you felt that. Why did you do that? Get in the fucking car! Now. Got to get off the road. God damn. All he was doing was trying to help out. Shit was sweet. They was playing a game. I should have known when they was doing that weird ball game. I just look at him like, you going to explain now why you clapped him? <laughs> you going to explain now why you dumped on him? I knew it. Yeah. You should make it public. Well, you saw the telly. She's about to be very public. Yeah. Doesn't matter. She's pregnant. Oh, right. And then the government will say, well, we, we, we were wrong. Fuji's are humans, too. You could stay here, Key. It's a safe place for you to have your child. What do you think? I think you need proper care. Oh, brilliant. She has proper care. care. What the fuck does he know as shit? I have my baby here. Then you get me to the human project. Why do cats and dogs loving him so much? Yeah, why did he see what I mean? These animals love him. The baby will stay with us. Where's Farad? He's a fucking dead man. Yeah, tomorrow we'll do him then after we move the girl. They want your baby. They killed Julian. They're gonna, they're gonna, shh, they killed Julian. They're gonna kill me. We have to leave. We have to go. Oh. Oh. This is fucking crazy. As long as a girl's near him, that's the protection. Open the door. There we go. Run, run, run. You know, when I started picking, thought I catch the pest. But then my belly started getting big. Nobody ever told me these things. I never seen a pregnant woman before. But I knew. May I cough? <laughs> Strawberry cough. What do you taste? Strawberries. Strawberries. That's what it's called, strawberry cough. They wanted to change the world, and their faith kept them together. But by chance, Dylan was born. Their faith put in praxis. Praxis, what <laughs> happened? Chance. It was their sweet little dream. He had little hands, little legs, little feet, little lungs. And in 2008, along came the flu pandemic. Oh. You see, Theo's faith lost out to chance. How do we get out of this one? Jasper, hurry up! Give him this and tell him he's a fascist pig. We need to get Janice. We're not going here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pull my finger. <laughs> Luke about to, about to pull that trigger. Oh, God damn, well, you had to blow his finger off. Three of my patients miscarried in one week. Ooh. Next week, five more miscarried. Then the miscarriages started happening earlier. I remember booking a woman in for her next appointment and noticing that the page seven months ahead was completely blank. As the sound of the playgrounds faded, 
The despair set in. I was there at the end. Now you're gonna be there at the beginning. You're, you're a, a fascist, fascist pig. pig. Show us the fidget face. Sad face. Sad face. Sad face. Miriam. I'm all wet. The water's broke. The baby's coming. We Shut up! Oh no, are they about to Oh shit. See what I mean? They're making it a point to keep showing these dogs and these cats and the animals responding. You're doing great. You're doing great, kid. That's it. That's it. It's coming again. Just breathe out and push. Since he's one of the last people to even have had a baby, this is probably fresh in his mind. Uh, what's her name? Julian giving birth. So yeah, while it may seem weird, it sort of like came back to him in that moment. Like, you know what I mean? See? It wasn't that bad. Not for you. <laughs> get it up. Get, get it up. We need to go. Can you help us get a boat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get it up. We need to go. Right there in his mind, he made the decision. I'm about to get paid. Shut up. See? You people are first class commodity. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Sid has a baby. Oh. There we go. Fuck you, Sid. I thought you was cool, Sid. You're not one of the true Sids. Yeah, 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 she's a Fuji for real. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, that little moment right there was kind of terrifying. Because I'm like, yo, she about to run off with the fucking baby? Oh, what a fucking battery. Oh! Oh my goodness, man. Oh, uh, oh, fishes. Fuck your cousin. Look around you. It's the uprising. And they haven't even seen the baby. Let's go. <laughs> they about to level that shit yeah oh man I was not expecting this to have like a great modern warfare scene and I don't mean modern warfare like the game I mean Get that motherfucker. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, this movie is dope. What the hell, yo? I was carrying the baby up the stairs. I started crying. I've forgotten what they look like. They're so beautiful. Theo is out. Everybody's gonna see the baby and let them through. Oh man, this is beautiful. By the way, this is how crazy humanity is. 
they know we can't have no more babies. Remember, they don't think it. After all these years, at this time, they know. And they still are just going to start killing each other. Yeah, we can't get along. We're, we're humans. It was about to happen. We're out of here. But the only thing that stopped the war is them seeing it. Well, okay. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Ooh. I mean, that boat just leaning. We're too late, aren't we? I'm bleeding. Jesus, shit, I'm bleeding. No, 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 I'm bleeding everywhere. Uh. I'll call my baby Dylan. It's a girl's name, too. The boat! It's okay. We're safe now. Tomorrow. First, let me start by saying, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure to hit the notification bell. Shout out to all the new viewers. Shout out to all the subscribers. And I got a Patreon. If you'd like to see full length and early reactions to movies like this, check it out. And also, shout out to the Patreon for suggesting this. And shout out to all the patrons. Look, man. When I watch post-apocalyptic things or apocalyptic films and shows now... It's not like when I was younger. When I was younger, it was just cool. It was just another theme or setting, sort of like the Wild Wild West, uh, space. Um, you know what I mean? The the ocean, right? It, it it was one of those settings. As I get older, I understand what a lot of this is going for, and it always has a message. Well, let's not say always. A lot of times it does. And then a lot of times it's not even a message. It's just holding a mirror up to humanity. And it's a way it allows us to explore things pretty much all at once that otherwise would be separate. And the reason being is because when things go to shit, it's our just universal humanity that's at play. Does that make sense? So we're not. So like if I'm watching a, a Western Right. We, we, we're going to see some gunplay. We might see some. Uh, he might get a girl. We're going to see beefing. So it's going to be heavy in sociology. We watch something like this. We was talking about sociology, economic. We were talking about all the social sciences in this motherfucker. Right. Like like this was covering everything. And there's a point towards the end where I go, isn't it crazy that. The issue here is we may not have any more babies. We cannot reproduce. Remember, all of these people know that. They don't think it. They have the knowledge. It's a fact. We will never create babies ever again. Even the ones who are praying, they're praying for that reason. You pray when all hope is lost oftentimes, right? You're flogging yourself when all hope is lost. They have knowledge. We cannot reproduce. 18 years, okay? And humanity still can't help itself, cannot help itself. Death, destruction, fuck it, let's just end it. Let's hasten the end of our species. So it was this interplay, they're on the bus and you see they show all these images of the world going to shit. And they were flashing all these names of these various places. And then it says, Britain will soldier on. That plays a certain way when I see this, where it's like, oh, they think they got this under control. And then boom, we go directly to the next scene. Concentration camps. Fuji's in concentration camps. People speak in various languages. So you see a bunch of Arab people. You see gypsies. It looked like there were some Turks. Like, like you saw all these various people from, from all over. I'm looking at that like, yep, th this is what I expected. And he's riding on that bus and they're throwing rocks and stones and stuff. Now, early on, I'm like, yo, what's going on, right? Because they're sitting in a place there. You see that 18, that 18 year old kid, the youngest, they even still called him baby. And he gets stabbed. World is going to shit. He walks out, there's an explosion. It's like, what the hell? And so early on, I'm like, I don't understand where this is going, but I'm fine with that. I like that because I can't figure out where it's going. Hey, we need you to help get this girl over the border, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't know what that means. Mind you, I saw this behind me, didn't even realize she was holding something. When we see see her and she she is she's how she is. I was like she was like, what the fuck you looking at? I'm like, okay. Her first little thing that she said, I'm thinking she's gonna be one way, 
but she's not, man. Key or whatever. Uh, she's she was just pure. She just wanted to have this baby and get out. Now I will say there was something that kept happening. I want to get this out of the way before I go more into the story. The animals who kept loving Theo. Is it because he's one of the last ones to have a baby? Can they smell that on him? Reason I bring that up is because later on, right, when she's giving birth, as I said, it's still fresh with him. Yeah, he was nervous, stuttering, stammering, because that's man. And also, first time he's seen the baby in a long time. Then it started coming back to him. Then when they're on the boat, he tells her, hey, put on your shoulder, patter, patter. It, it, Dylan is fresh in his mind, right? Not just because he passed away, but he don't see no other ones. So it's like he keeps, I'm sure he would replay that over and over and over. Okay. So when we meet the, when the fish are traveling and Julian is doing that thing, they do it. I'm like, that's weird, but that's kind of cool. They go and they, yo, let me say something about these scenes. It wasn't this like epic music, like trying to make it feel feel a certain way the way it was shot and the pacing made you feel the anxiety and made you feel this sort of rush so when they're trying to drive away and they're being chased and then you like okay you they're being chased they pull back okay they pull back motorbikes okay motorcycles are there boom now they're getting chased by the motorcycles uh they shoot old girl in the neck he's holding you know what i mean the door boom and you're like yo what the fuck is going on Okay, then the cops arrive. Luke kills the cops. So you're like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I understood we're in some post-apocalyptic thing, but the way it played out is it lulls you to sleep. Okay, then there's another scene, which is, as I said, I did not expect to see such great shot modern warfare in this film. And... They had the camera like focused up and it's shaking. And so you're feeling like this sort of crouch. You're, you're, you're feeling like, yo, I'm, we're trying to hide. The viewer is trying to get behind. And, and it was so frantic. There's these dead spots. So that's what makes the, when it gets back to being frantic, makes you get anxious. Cause you're like, okay, rest. Then you hear, pew, pew, pew. you hear like rounds ricocheting off. And, my man comes out and he's looking, but we got this girl. Okay. So the people are, the uprising is happening. I know I skipped a bunch, but I, I want to talk about this scene. The uprising is happening. They take the girl and my man is walking off and he's viewing what's going on. So he's trying not to get shot, but he's viewing what's going on. So you seeing is just warfare and it's not, you know, we, we're a long way away from line up in front of each other and shoot. It's, it's urban. It's you hide behind here, you hide behind there. You're trying to cross streets. You looking around, but when there's armor, armor, uh, they, they, they can wipe out anything. So when he's hiding behind the thing and you see the tank, just take out that first level. I'm like, holy fuck, man. And then the people come out waving the white flag. They just mow him down. Then he goes in the building. This is continuing, man. And I'm like, Yo, this is crazy because you hear the fire, you hear everything, and he's trying to hide, he's trying to, and the rooms, remember, the fronts of them are blown off, so he has to stay hiding. When he gets into that room with the dude with the dreads, I'm like, oh, he's about to get shot at. And the way they played it, you're like, yo, he's about to get shot at, he's about to get shot at. And the guy's about to turn around, my man just scoots over, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> and then he gets out of there. But then he finds the girl, and the baby's crying. Luke is doing what he thinks is right to get what he thinks needs to be done done. I don't want to talk about whether it's right or not. It's, you know what I mean? I, because that girl needed to be protected when he's like, yo, I just started crying. Like I, I hadn't seen a baby if ever. And you know, so that happens. So they're carrying the baby and it's crying and the lady starts singing a song and everybody is like in awe of the baby and in reverence of the baby and they're paying homage. And the, the troops are like, Hey, stop fucking shooting and stop shooting. And it's, you're like, yo, man, this is crazy. The only thing that could stop them is new life. And the moment I say that, they got right back to killing each other. I'm like, yeah, what am I thinking? This, this is humanity. This is how they got to that point, right? Our hippie guy, 
with the weed, strawberry cough. He was cool as hell. But oh, that's another thing. Quietus, the the I forgot what the tagline is, but it was basically like, hey, go out on on your own terms, right? So when they arrive with old girl from the hideout, I'm thinking, hey man, is he dead? Okay, he's not. But I'm like, he was contemplating it at the very least. And the thing that pushed him over the edge is when those people finally came. Killed his dog, killed his girl, well, his wife, and pulled my finger. Like, he just had fun. He had joy in the midst of what was going on around him. He's still, out of the other people, even the rich people, the rich people were doing stuff to try to make it feel better, but they would utilize the money. My man was like, I just want to kick it. He was eating Brussels sprouts, and he was eating vegetables, and he had his weed, and he he just want to kick it, man. Just chill. This film is dope and this is one of those ones where it's like there's no excuse for why i haven't seen this and what you said a lot of people haven't reacted to this may i'm assuming it's because they've already seen it i I would say that's why it is i'm probably one of the few people who haven't seen this this is so well done and english actors be killing it like the 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 prenatal nurse or whatever who said uh who was talking about how yo the infants like weren't lasting through the birth. They weren't coming to term more and more. And then she said for seven, like seven months ahead. Now they didn't have none. And that's his sister. And so I'm like, man, we're imagine how horrifying that is for her. So of course, religion will become her thing. Like bear with me right here. We're, Cause I want to see if this makes sense. When you have a job like that, where you bring life into the world. Yeah. You may have a religion, but your belief is in that. Like if we if we bring this to term, humanity survives. Like that's sort of a thing just as being a doctor. But let's say you're a nurse or a doctor who deals with bringing babies into the world. And imagine that stops for you. Like it's one thing for Theo and Julian, Julianne to have what happened to them and then not be able to do it ever again. But imagine for that nurse or whatever who who worked a course religion will become a thing for her because she's like everything that I knew is not anymore. Does that make sense? And she act, she acted her ass off like, man, then the girl who played a uh, key. She killed it. I've seen her and stuff as in a, like more grown up. Um, yeah, she killed it. I, I, I just, I liked this and this is what was dope about it. As I said, there's a comic called Why the Last Man. And in Why the Last Man, a lot of these same type of characters existed. And in here, what I liked about it is it's not a show. It's only a couple, it's only a couple hours. And they're trying to get you to understand this, the dire straits of the situation. And they portray that very well. So it all goes into when things are happening. Hey man, like uh, we're we're along the ride with you. So by the time they get to the boat, and you realize he's shot, it's like, of course he's shot. And then I almost start panicking along with her when Theo dies because I'm like, yo, she out there alone. Hopefully the boat does come back. Hey man, this was a dope film. I'm sure it's some shit I missed because this is something you got to watch multiple times because it's real detailed. But yeah, man, I, I like this. I enjoyed this, man. I, I enjoyed this. Thanks for suggesting this. Shout out to the Patreon. Let's go.